Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to go over my swing trade and how we're doing in it, uh, ONTX. And then after that, we're going to be going over PTGX. I actually had a tweet about this. I think it was yesterday saying it was going to be a nice stock to get into because I had a, had a serious dump. And of course, you know, I wasn't around in the morning, so I missed it. But I tweeted it. So if you guys had my Twitter account, you could have saw it and got in and made a pretty good profit. I think it went up like 70%. So that was good. And then at the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into you guys a little bit. So uh, let's get right into this stock market. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like that video. Let's get right into it. Well, uh, let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, let's look at uh, ONTX. This is the one that we're in for a swing trade. At least I am. I don't know if you are, but uh, I'm still in this. So I didn't really do much today. I would pretty much say it was just consolidating. Let me go ahead and open this up. A little bit bigger here, maybe do the 180 day 30 minute here. So it looks like, oh, everything's going crazy. So it looks like it's not going to be following this trend line like I was talking about yesterday. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And then we got our second trend line here where it's getting kind of close to it. So we're going to see if it even wants to follow this one or not. So now we got to have a little bit of a game plan since that we're in a swing trade. We got to think in the future, like, you know, what do we want to do with this? So let's go ahead and take a look at the bigger picture here. Do it, go to the 10 year, two day chart. Huh? There ain't much there on that one. I don't know if I can look at anything. At, yeah, there's nothing there. So let's go back to, let's see what we got here. Let's try the 180 day four hour. Okay. Here we got a better picture of what we're going to be looking at. So, all right. So we know we got resistance here at about 41 cents, 42 cents. We'll just say that. I think that's 42 cents. I'm not going to go ahead and sell any shares there because it's not going to be much of a profit. I'm looking at probably selling it. If it gets up to like the $73 range, I'm probably looking about taking maybe half my position off there and just let the rest of it just ride out and kind of see how it plays out. So now I got my game plan all set up for the swing trade. Let's go ahead and look at some more news on this. I heard something about a conference going on next week. So let's go ahead and take a look about what's going on with that. All right, so this is some old news right here. This is back in November 7th, but uh, they announced that they're going to be doing five presentations. And this can make the stock go up. So let's go ahead and take a look at when is this, when is this going to be? When are they going to be doing five? Oh, it's December 7th through the 10th. So it looks like they're going to be having some oral presentations. So uh, let's see when they are going to be. So we got one on Monday. This is going to be on December 9th. Looks like they even have some stuff going on, on the weekend. So this could drive the stock up a little bit more. You know, anything good with news and like, I mean, you guys know just anything good going out there with like presentations and stuff. It could drive the stock up pretty good, especially with stock with a low float. So that's good. We got some good stuff coming up in the future. So that's going to be good for our swing trade. If we go over here and we see what some analyst had to say pigs. But anyways, let's see what they say. So we have three analysts here and they say that the median price target of the stock is $2 and the high estimate is $15. It's $15, huh? We're at just about 30 something cents right now. And this stock goes up to $15. A lot of people are going to make a lot of money. And if you're looking at percentages, that's over 500% the stock is going to run up. And they think this is going to happen within 12 months. So it's a year. It could happen. I guess it could. But the question is, do I really want to hold a swing trade for a year and have all that money tied up? Well, if the stock's going up, why not? You're making money on it. Then I guess it wouldn't be called a swing trade then, would it? Be, or would it be called a swing trade? I don't know. It's What happens when you hold a stock for a year? What's that called? I wouldn't really say it's investing. I don't know. Who knows? Why don't you comment down below and let me know what you think it means? I have no idea. Just another thing I want to pull out here about this stock. It kind of looks like a bull flag. Actually, it doesn't really look like one there. If you go back a little bit more here, yeah, it doesn't kind of look like a bull flag a little bit. I don't know. But one thing I do like so far, it, it is holding 30 cents really good support. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that line at 30 cents because we need to have that in there. It looks like where it's been holding right there. All right. So we got that in there. So that's good. We got some support level and it's actually going down to it right now. What is it doing? Oh, it's dumping. It's going to test it. It's going to test it. This is live right now. All right. If you guys don't have my Twitter account, you might want to get it because I do find stocks like this and I just go ahead and I tweet them out there. So that way you guys know about it, even though if I miss a stock, at least hopefully somebody can make money on it. You know what I mean? And I'm not promoting my Twitter page. I don't make any money off Twitter. I just, you know, it's out here just to get the information out, you know, because I can't make a video where like, oh, the stock want to make a video, you know, Twitter, I can just boom, get it out there and you guys can have it. And then you can do whatever you want with it. But anyways, I tweeted this last night, you know, PTGX. So, you know, this stock had a massive drop, pretty much no bad news. It really didn't have 
any bad news. I believe there was some news on it, but it wasn't bad. Let's go take a look at it and see. But anyways, that's my Twitter page. So the company released primary results from the ongoing phase two. Did it not go that good? This trial that they had. Yeah, I, I think it was basically was they had a trial and it didn't go all that great, but there's no reason for the stock to drop 42%. All right, so here it is right here. Here's a massive drop down to 42%, you know, huge, massive drop down. And I actually tried to buy in after hours here, but for some odd reason, I couldn't get it through. I don't know why. And then I tried in the morning and I couldn't get it through. And then when the bell rang around 930, I was actually looking at my swing trade stock and I completely forgot about this one. You have a shotgun where I can blow my brains out because I missed this one and I knew about it. So even if the market opened and I could have got in, you know, around $5 and you know, 48 cents or whatever. And I could have sold probably right around $8, which I probably would have. Either way, if you bought down in this area, you, you're you going to be making money, even where it's at right now. By the time I actually saw this and I was like, oh crap, I forgot about this. Oh crap. It was already up to $8. And I knew by that time it was way too late. It was gone. And I get down on myself a lot. I freaking bitch myself out all the time for stuff like this. But I know, you know, then I just tell myself, you know what? There's going to be another trade. So what? You missed one. I missed a bunch actually, but you miss this one. There's going to be another one. So don't, don't beat yourself up over it that much. So hopefully one of you guys made some money off this if you saw my tweet. So let's go ahead and go over and look at you gas. I haven't really looked at this at all in the afternoon, so I have no idea what it did. I was looking at it in the morning, but, and it wasn't doing that much. It was actually going down. What the fuck? Connection lost. Connected. I think my batteries were going dead. Better do that. So let's see what it did today. It looks like just consolidating it a little bit. So yeah, it didn't really do that much today, you know, just going sideways. We're right about at $10. But like I was saying yesterday, I still think, you know, it's going to come up and hit this resistance here around $12. And then it's going to really start going down after that. And then we're eventually going to go into an RS. That's what's going to happen. I already sold all my shares on this and I took a loss, but this is something I don't want to be holding right now. Not in this kind of environment that it's in right now, where you could wake up one morning and the thing gaps down 15 percent so you know i just don't want to trade this at all right now but i'm going to keep my eye on it for you guys so i'll do that and i'm going to tell you if anything else changes and i see that oh there might be something here that might be good so i might dabble in it a little bit more but it all depends as of right now no because i think it's going to go up and hit this resistance and then come back down so hope you guys are doing all right on those trades out there you know keep your emotions in check you know i got a hard time doing it so i'm sure you guys do too so if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and like this video down below if you enjoyed it. And let's make some money, everybody. At least try to, right? <laughs> oh.